Oh boy, it's the ranked set you've all been waiting for. Welcome to the countdown to Street Fighter V, Ultra Street Fighter IV ranked sets with Vega. Yay. I have never been more excited for a character. Alright, seriously, I didn't play Vega that much. If you guys recall in my ranked set woes video, I, um, hello, you gonna play? Okay, true S1D, no? If you guys recall in my um, rank set woes video, I have done the rank set with Vega. It didn't go horrifically. I mean, it didn't go good, to put it that way. I definitely lost points. But it could have been a lot worse, which is most likely what this is going to be, especially with playing with Americans. But uh, yeah, you will see that I have points for Vega. And I regret having them. So let's see if I can keep the points going. Or let's see if I will not win a single match in the first time in rank set history. Which could very well happen. Um, but yeah, so I'm looking forward to it, kind of. I'm looking forward to see, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, how different it is. Cause much like the Chun Li video, this is a card that I very rarely play, so it'll be very interesting to see how that is incorporated. Yeah, you see, I won one match in my rank set, so flipped 73 points. So oh 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 no, oh, nice. Always good to start with a nice laggy connection. Oh my gosh, jump in. I uh, kind of put him focus this, this week and I don't put him nothing. Oh no. He just, he, all he's doing is sweeping. What's this guy doing? Oh, oh okay, now he flash kicks. Oh, oh, flash kick? Okay, good. Oh, yeah, of course he's gonna do it. Oh no, of course not. The mask is off. I'm exposed. Okay, there we go. I don't want to win against this guy. Come on. It's like the fucking Ken ranks it all over again. I'm just winning against people that are just pressing random buttons. Come on, the game's been out for like. How long has the game been out for now? Six years? Seven? Long time. But yeah. Why, why are people so attacking like this? There we go. Oh, really? Get the call, get the call, get the call. I don't know how to play Vega with the claw. Am I gonna lose to this guy? Are you serious? I want him with red focus. No! That was it! Damn it. Oh, I can't really can't grab the mask in this game. Oh no. I was gonna do it, wake up ultra. And of course I get him. Flip him hang. Oh. To be fair, what an appropriate first match for the Vega rank set. No skill, lag, not hitting a single combo, just glorious. And I, the thing is, well, I might actually play Vega in uh, Street Fighter V because he is very. Again, I, I know I said this with almost every character, but he's very different. But he is like very, very different in Street Fighter V. Like he's a motion character. That's already like for them weird. I don't know why they felt the need to do that. Like, I would rather see a motion character, like a new motion character that, uh, that plays a bit like Vega, than just have Vega and... I don't trust this. No, sorry, I don't trust this connection. But then guy's Indian. I don't think the Indian-British connection is going to be that good. Anyway, um, yeah, so it's interesting why they decided to make Vega a motion character. Like, I don't really know why. But, um, hey, I'm not going to complain. If I make some play a little differently, then sure, I'm, I'll take it. Um, as you can see, nobody in Xbox Live wants to even attempt to tackle the strength of my Vega. But, um, yeah, so Vega is looking pretty weird. I, I quite like his playstyle, though. I mean, I know I, I'm giving him crap at the moment because my Vega sucks, but like, I do actually quite like his playstyle. I like the very footsie. I mean, I played Rose, so maybe that makes sense because I really like the footsie characters and Ken Vega is pretty much up there because he's got a flipping claw. You know, you can't really get much more footsy than having an illegal weapon. So it will be interesting to see what he's like. I'll at least play with him, like dabble with him, see what he's like, see how he plays. Um but as for whether I'm actually gonna pick him up and like main him, I don't think so. I don't think that's gonna happen. Nobody's joining, are you serious? This is an outrage. My discount's at 1%, that's embarrassing. 
And I, I promise you guys, I don't rage quit. All right, let's go hunting. Oh, this would be another good example of the red connections coming back. Please, come on. Connections were good earlier. Irish guy, come on. Unable to join. Oh, no. Well, I guess apparently nobody's playing. Just like the only guys you know, the stairs, like a Filipinian, I think. Was that the flag that I just saw? I don't know, but um, yeah. And also, Vega's one of those characters I re I like rolled my eyes when he was announced and groaned because like, do we really need? There we go. Do we really need Vega in Street Fighter Five? Like, like. I mean, I mean, he's one of the four boss characters in Street Fighter Two. You think about the other three. That, by the way, aren't you? Well, no, Bison's in the game, sorry. But like, Sagat isn't in the game, and Borrow's not in the game. So why why would you put Vega? Why would you give Vega priority over those two? I would almost be certain that you know Sagat and Borrow would be two characters that would be requested a lot more than Vega. But maybe he's like really pivotal in the Street Fighter Five story, and I just don't know. Oh, jeez. Okay. Let's keep it going for some vague time. Let's just poke this cami. And is this going to lag? Of course it is. Oh, jeez. they can boom to Oh my gosh. No. Oh, nice. Oh, no, it didn't. I just thought it did. Giving myself too much credit. Stop switching sides. Oh, nice. Here we go. Here come, here come, here come the combos. No, of course not. Oh, Ultra? What, what the fuck? Did, did you guys see that? She like... She like fell like, through my body. That was really weird. Okay. Regardless. Oh, what? I actually beat it. Oh no. Okay, I'm getting for the bodies. Ah, uh, loot. Close enough. Car grab. Oh, oh, whoa, holy crap. No, of course not. Ah, oh, what is this match? I'm not even doing anything. Oh no. Do it again. Oh no, he actually read it. Anyway, Vega rank set. I'm going undefeated. That's official. Are you serious? There have been two matches and both of them are laggy and play and I'm playing against people that like, don't know what they're doing. This is a thoroughly disappointing rank set thus far. And I was already disappointed because I'm playing Vega. I will although rest assured the next card is uh, the next card is Zangief, which is always a plus, because Zangief is probably the other character like Ken and Ryu that I'm like pretty comfortable with. I mean, you wouldn't know that my flipping Ken was comfortable after how flipping bad the rank set went. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Zangief's one of those characters that's pretty... I'm pretty comfortable with him. Although I do have some thoughts. Tri oh, come on, Tree S1D, play, play me this time. Come on. Give me the chance. Let me prove myself to you. This is like the quest to see if Tree S1D will play me. Or Tree's One Direction. Maybe that's what it is. Tree's One Direction. I don't want to play someone that's flipping as a fan of One Direction, come on. Yeah, I'll mute him first and then I'll kick him. Oh, jeez. Alright, can we get some different people, please? Hopefully the connections aren't awful. Red Wolf, oh no, Red Wolf. GG, you're very good. Oh, thanks. I mean, alright, because literally nobody else is playing, let's just do thanks. GG's. See, I'm a nice guy. Who is Red Wolf again? <laughs> I can't even remember. Let me go back to my... Yeah, he's the guy I just played. Okay, fair enough. You see, that's that's the kind of positivity we need in the... Oh, jeez. Oh my gosh, the computer went nuts. Anyway, um... Yeah, that's the kind of positivity that we need in the Street Fighter community. We need more people to actually, you know... That, that are a bit more optimistic. Like, I understand that Street Fighter is a competitive game at its core. I mean, the premise of Street Fighter is one on one, one versus somebody versus somebody else. So already the competition is going to be there. But I think we do need a bit more positivity. Like, whenever I start a play, I, I mean, literally, we're not getting anyone else. I'm literally going to talk over this, and I'm more than happy to not play any Vega matches for the Vega rank set. Like, whenever I first started playing Street Fighter, I was like, I was kind of 
like uh, I was trained by some people. I know trained is a pretty dumb word to say when you're talking about video games, but for a game like Street Fighter, it kind of makes sense. And uh, like a community took me under their wing, and like I started learning the game through like respect and honor. And this is th th I'm, I'm using the weirdest terminology here when describing video games, but like it's but legitimately it was it was true. And uh, we're talking about five years ago, by the way. So like around 20, like whenever I first started making videos, like my very first video. I believe on my channel was a Street Fighter video. It was me from pointing the camera at my TV when I was playing Street Fighter. I've been playing the game for about four months back then. And like, I probably wouldn't have even tried to play Street Fighter for as long as I did had I not been, you know, guided by the community that I was in. And if you go back, I mean, if you guys go back to my Street Fighter, to my to my YouTube channel back then, you'll see the community that I'm talking about. Like we had tournaments where we weekly, we had like um, random casual sets, like a lot of my footage, and I mean for, for the long time, a lot of my footage was Street Fighter, and so like I knew that I wouldn't have probably been as committed to this game had I not been taken under that wing, and I think we need that a lot more in video game communities in general, because, well I, I mean fighting games are a pretty big one because there's, there's this whole controversy about like you know the OGs versus the new wave, and like the OGs who were like the, the, the arcade dwellers. And those were the guys that don't want anyone else in their community. This is an outrage, by the way. Nobody is literally joining. Um, and like, they're... I mean, I mean, maybe that's a pretty broad generalization, but I don't, I've never been around an arcade before. So I don't exactly know how that community really works. But, um, yeah, I probably would have never... Like, like, like if, I was, if I was like playing Street Fighter around that community, where, you know, if I get bodied, the guys like, lol, GG, get wrecked, I'll be like, oh, well, jeez. Oh, I'll be like, oh well, okay, that's weird. Like, I probably, won't, I probably wouldn't, have, wouldn't be as motivated to play the game again. Whereas the guys I was playing with, sure they'd say like, oh, you got bodied, but then they'll be like, oh, but you got bodied because of this. Here's what you should do to improve. And I'm like, oh, okay. And it's all through like a general, you know, um, performance in, enhancing in terms of like, you gotta make, you gotta get your performance better. Oh, jeez. Like, this would be a pretty good match. My connection's pretty, pretty good. For now. Oh, that's going to be soon. It's starting to lag, of course. Ow. Oh. Oh, I, I can never hit it. Whoa, I'm out of there. Oh, I tried to air grab him. I didn't know. I didn't, I didn't want to do that. Is that going to punish? No, oh, I didn't. Oh, I wanted to air grab it. Alright, by the way, I can car grab. I know we, I don't think he even said this in the Ken Rank step. I can't car grab with Ken. I can, however, car grab with Vega. Um, and it's. I actually quite. Oh my gosh, I'm Street Fighter 4. Um, and yeah, it's. I just can't car grab with Ken because my controller setup is too weird. Out of there. Okay, I'll take the trade. Alright, yeah, I shouldn't have lost I shouldn't have lost that first round. I was too busy for them rambling about like car grabbing and all that crap. Alright. Let's keep going. This is the first time in ranked sets I've ever played in the second hand side. Oh, I think it might be. Ow. Ow, I did not mean to do that. I'm so I'm so impressed you didn't put a mash uppercut there. Or DP. Not DP for having uh, Ultra. I did not. I tried to Ultra and I couldn't got that. That was disappointing. Oh. Yes. I was gonna do it. Oh no! I was gonna do it again. Okay, there we go. What the flip was that? I actually think this match is pretty tough for T-Hawk. I mean, Vega has got some really strong pokes. Like, Vega's one of those characters that a lot of his damage can just come from poking people. 
Like, he doesn't really need to do any special moves. Like, I know Rose is quite a footsie character, but she kind of needs to do, like, soul spirals and all that crap to actually get her damage. Whereas, like, Vega, he could literally just stand there and, like, fierce you and strong you and then hit you with his kicks and, like, you, you, you could be dead pretty quickly. Um, alright. This clearly is not working, so I'm just going to go back to, um... To the regular route to the uh, quick matches because they seem to be working out pretty fine. I never do uh, quick match ever because the connections you normally get are pretty insane. That wasn't too bad though, and we got and we got a match pretty quickly. And yeah, I'm not expecting any fucking fan mail from that guy, <laughs> unlike the other fucking Cami player. Um, but yeah, so hopefully when Street Fighter Five comes out, it's gonna be weird for Street Fighter Five because we're gonna be like the new guys or the old the old guys even sorry like the guys that have been playing Street Fighter 4 are gonna be oh are you serious because um a lot of the people that are uh joining I mean I don't know how many new people are gonna play Street Fighter 5 because when Street Fighter 4 came out I don't know what happened I mean I wasn't there when the game first dropped so I can't exactly say for sure for certain oh um you know, it was these reasons as to why Street Fighter 4 sold so well, so I don't know, but I'm wondering if those same factors are going to be the same for whenever Street Fighter 5 comes out. Like, are more people going to want to try and get into fighting games in that case? Nice. Oh, this guy's actually doing stuff. Best. There's a card up, I think. Oh, I thought that combo would have to get really high. Nice jump. Okay, I, 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 I'm trying to car grab these people, but like, it's pretty hard to car grab grapplers. Alright, anyway. Oh no, oh nice punish. I forgot you can punch that. Oh my gosh, really? Oh jeez. This guy's jabs are like actually hit me. Oh, nice block. Jeez. Sick. Nice. Oh, that's so heavy. Oh, no. That's under light. Nice. I probably could have altered that. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know how far his car grab went. That was so far. Oh, I'm so sorry, Vega. I don't know your ranges. This guy is just playing really... He is slow poke. Alright. Am I going to lose to the guy with 500 player points? Oh, are you serious? Burn all your meter. I'll do it. I did not mean to do that. Oh, oh my gosh, he actually was going to try and hit butter. Get the claw. Oh no, he's sitting on it. I can't get it now. No! Oh yeah, so glad he's ultra. What? Okay. Check it, check it. Oh, I have the claw. It wouldn't have worked. That was a 
was a surprisingly tough match to, to win. Alright, I'll see if I can play one more, because I mean, I, I didn't really play many matches this time around, so I'm going to see if I can find one more. So this is a weird rank. This is hands down the weirdest ranks I have ever played. Alright, well. Yeah, so we're going to be like the, the, the old dogs for uh, Street Fighter V when it comes out. Wait, Adam Trails is giving- Oh, I thought that- I thought- <laughs> I don't know why, but I thought the Canadian flag was a Swiss flag. So, this could be very bad. I'm playing a Canadian. Oh, and he's playing Eagle Ryu. Oh, jeez. Anyway, yeah, so... That'll be very interesting to see. How the new players play the game. Because, I mean, we're all- like, everyone that's, you know, born and bred playing Street Fighter 4, they're have gonna have a pretty tough time playing Street Fighter 5, considering, in fact, it's a brand new core Street Fighter game, so a lot of the, the mechanics like focus attacking fight. and some of the other weird stuff, like the combos in some cases, are different. Thanks. I tech, fair enough. Nice tech, jeez. Oh, I, why, why didn't I get the claw? Come on. That was ultra. And that was ultra again. Do not really tough to hit. That's like trial 24, isn't it? It's been... Uh, I cannot do, uh, as you're probably aware, I'm not very good at doing Vegas Ultra 3. Because I never do it, I never play uh, characters that have that kind of ultra motion, so I don't get many, much practice in it. Nice. Whoops. I cannot do any of Vegas 3. Nice. Oh, hardly no. I'm missing like everything. Oh, nice tag. Ultra? Oh, wait, really? I was gonna do it. No! I tried to the ultra. And he flipped a neutral jump as well, so it would have hit. Because he didn't have any meter to EX hats, so you're fine to try and avoid it. Uh, that match could have been better if I actually could do Vega's moves. That was a perfect testament as to just how bad my Vega is. A match that could have been pretty good, but I sucked and it didn't work. Oh well guys, that's it for the Vega rank set. I apologize that it didn't have that many matches in it. At the same time, maybe that was good because my Vega matches are awful. So, uh, my name's Pete Aug, and see you for Zangief, which is the second to last uh, Countdown Street Fighter 5 rank set character that's been confirmed for Street Fighter 5, so... I'll see you guys then. Hopefully it's better than this. <laughs> see you guys then.